If you want to know what a breast lump actually feels like, then stay tuned to find out. Hi, my name is Dr. Tasha and I'm a breast surgeon here to help you navigate the world of health in general and breast cancer specifically. Now, breast examination is something that for some reason is not taught at all. No wonder many of us are worried that we don't know where to start and what to look out for. Firstly, it is important to know how to do a breast examination the correct way. Now, if you have not done one before and you don't know what to do and how to do it, then check out this video all about how to do it the correct way. Once you have mastered this, then examining your breast is going to be so much easier. You'll be more confident about doing it and you'll know what you're looking out for. Broadly speaking, the breast is made up of glandular and fatty tissue, and these two components are responsible for how the breast feels. When you are younger, the glandular aspect of the breast predominates, and that is why young women's breasts generally are more firm and denser feeling. As we get older, the fatty aspect of the breast becomes more dominant, and as a result, the breast will feel softer and with time become you know, more droopy. Knowing these differences is important because it will help you determine what a lump may feel like. Now, the question I get asked all the time is, I don't know what a lump feels like. Well, a lump really does feel like a lump within the breast. There's no mystery to it. Imagine a small pea, a marble or a broad bean underneath your clothes or jumper. That is what a lump will feel like. Benign lump. Many benign lumps can feel smooth and well-defined. They might have a round or oval shape, and they often feel mobile within the breast tissue. This means that they can be pushed around or moved with a little bit of gentle pressure. How about potentially cancerous lumps? What do they feel like? These, on the other hand, can feel firm or hard, and some cancerous lumps might feel just a little bit different to the surrounding tissue. Cancerous lumps may also have an irregular shape and can feel uneven or irregular. Lumps that are fixed in place and don't move easily when touched could also be slightly worrying. Now, there are other characteristics to consider as well. Monitoring the lump over a menstrual cycle or over a few weeks might reveal changes in the size or tenderness. Benign lumps can sometimes change with hormonal fluctuations, while cancerous lumps might not change as much, if at all. It's important to remember that the texture and characteristics of a lump can vary widely, and there's no definitive way to determine whether a lump is benign or cancerous based solely on how it feels, unless, of course, you are an expert. Now, of course, the take-home message is always that if you find something that doesn't feel quite right and you are worried about it, then do get it checked out. The doctor will then re-examine you and confirm whether what you are feeling is something that needs further investigation. So how do you know whether something is new or different? The best way to answer this is by knowing what your normal breast feels like. And the best way to get familiar is by doing regular examinations. Do it once a month after your period if you are premenopausal. And if you are postmenopausal, you can do it at a regular and similar time once a month. So let me know if you examine your breast regularly and whether this video was helpful. I'll see you in the next one.